Hey, today we're moving on to the seventh and last habit of the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey, which is sharpen the saw. Now, there's this guy and he's cutting down this huge tree with this saw, and the blades are getting a little dull. And he's been at it for four or five hours and he's getting frustrated. So his friend comes up and says, Hey, why don't you take 20, 30 minutes and sharpen the saw? And the guy goes, No, I can't do that. I need to work on cutting down the tree. And he fails to see that if he would sharpen the saw, he could cut down the tree faster. And we do this in life a lot. I'm going to give you some examples that Stephen Covey mentions. The first is physical. For example, a lot of times we forget to exercise, to weight lift, to do some cardio, uh, maybe 30 minutes a day, 3 or 4 times a week. And this will benefit our health greatly, but we forget to do it. Or we, rather, are too lazy to do it. We don't want to do it. And in doing this, when we become sick or ill, 30 or 40 years down the road, we become reactive when we blame the environment as opposed to be being proactive in the first habit and blaming ourselves and taking responsibility that we should have exercised or um, eaten right. Even preparing food. Some people don't even prepare the right food, go out and buy healthy carrots and uh, strawberries and other just not, not junk food. And this is an example of sharpening the saw in your physical state. Now, you can also sharpen the saw in your mental state. Examples of this would be stuff like reading or writing. You can try to read uh, a book, book a week maybe. I'm actually aiming for a book a day. And uh, writing. I don't write as often as I probably should. But some people, you can also plan. Planning is also a great mental exercise. The next is emotional. And stuff like this would be uh, services, helping your community, creating synergistic environments and developing your relationships, your personal relationships and friendships you have with other people. The next would be spiritual. And stuff in this category would can include stuff like value clarification, your commitments, um, stuff that includes your deep core principles, even uh, stuff as prayer and meditation. David O. McKay once said, The greatest battles of life are fought in the silent chambers of the soul. And I think that is a really interesting quote, so I put that on here. Anyways, Habit 7 is Sharpen the Saw. If you like this video, like it. If you want more, subscribe. Thanks for watching.